Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to day 20 of the Great Morning Yoga Challenge. I hope you are feeling well this morning and I'm so very excited for today's class and excited to have you. Alrighty. I don't know if I said my name is Ariana Elizabeth, but I'm pretty sure you know that by now. <laughs> anyway, alrighty, we'll go ahead and come to a comfortable seat. All right, settling into your space, maybe taking a few organic movements, any which way, whatever feels good for you. And then find a nice, deep, long inhale. And exhale, soften through every crevice in your body, your fingers, your shoulders, your jaw, your brows, your belly, your toes. Maybe take a moment of gratitude the fact that you woke up this morning, the fact that you're breathing, the fact that you're free to move in this space, the fact that you're allowed to be you, be yourself. And I have something I wanted to read. And today, very, very simple, but it's just saying, um, trust the seeds you are planting and as simple as that is sometimes it can actually be quite difficult I know personally it can be a little challenging to put so much effort into something and then some weeks you may see something come from it and then other weeks it may just seem like a drought it's easy to contemplate if you're doing it right, if you're changing anyone's life, if you're possibly changing your own life, if you're benefiting yourself, if you're benefiting others. But I just want to encourage you, something that I always remind myself that even when it gets quiet, someone is always watching. Someone is always thinking about you whether you believe it or not, someone's watching you. And of course, we know that God is always watching us, of course. But this time, I'm more so speaking in regards to um, business-wise or the, the next opportunity. I just want to let you know that even when it gets quiet, don't think that someone isn't watching you and getting ready to offer you the next promotion, getting ready to um, upgrade many aspects of your life. Sometimes it gets quiet right before the storm. And this time I mean storm in a good way. <laughs> so just stay encouraged, stay consistent, keep doing what you're doing, keep putting effort in, don't fall off just because it gets quiet. One more breath in. And exhale. Awesome. Inhale, arms up. And then exhale, take a twist to the right. So left hand comes on the outer right knee, right hand walks behind you, gazing over your right shoulder. Don't be scared to walk that right hand a little bit more or press a little bit more into that left hand. As soon as I did that, my lower back popped. Awesome, inhale, arms back up and exhale to the left. So right hand on the outer left knee, walk your left hand behind you. Oh, and my back just popped again. Remember the key to this is to Lengthen, really lift your spine before you twist. And slowly release. Switch legs, so bring your opposite leg in front of the other. Arms up. 
and then exhale, fold it over. You can just bring your fingertips to the floor. That way you can kind of stretch through your shoulders as well. Drop the crown of your head. And then slowly come back. We'll come to our vinyasas or our uh, sun salutations. Alrighty. Inhale, arms all the way up. Exhale, first drop the right hand down, reach over towards the right. Inhale, back up to center. Left hand down, over towards the left. Inhale, back up. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, and then plant your hands, step back, take your vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog, shine the chest forward, and then exhale, hips up and back to down dog, but stay on the top of your feet. Go ahead and stretch the tops of your feet for a second. Perfect, go ahead and flip. Inhale, gaze forward, and exhale, travel there. With your fingertips still on the mat, you can lift your right foot up and bring it back behind you as we get ready for a slight crescent lunge. Inhale, arms up by your ears. Exhale, palms together to heart center. Hinge it forward. And if you'd like, you can take a little twist here. Right elbow on the outer left knee. Press your palms together. Wobbling is okay. Only here for a second. One more breath in. And exhale. Palms down. Send that left foot back to meet the right. Gaze forward. And tiptoe to the top of your mat. Fingertips are on the mat. Left foot lifts up. Step it back. And inhale to crescent on the right. Palms come down to heart center. Hinge your chest forward. Really lengthen and then exhale, twist. Left elbow comes to the outer right knee. Your gaze can go down if that gives you a little more stability or of course you can send it over your shoulder. Wherever you are today is totally fine. The more you press into your palms, the more you can twist. Make sure you're breathing. One more breath. And then palms down. Right foot steps back. Awesome, inhale, gaze forward. And come to your knees. Untuck your toes, lift up, hands in your lower back pockets, elbows pulled back, rolling your shoulders back and just very gently push your hips forward and lift your gaze up. One more breath in. And exhale, come to sitting on your heels, palms, on your thighs. Just a moment to kind of regroup. Awesome, all right. Hips go over to one side. Legs come out in front of you. And the left leg is going to extend. Sole of the right foot comes to the inner left thigh. Inhale, arms up. And then exhale, reach it forward but take your right hand on the outer part of your left foot or left leg, wherever you are, and then just kind of add a little twist here. So my left fingertips are outside of my mat, but touching the floor, a little twist here. Beautiful, bring it back around. Right hand comes behind you. Lift your hips, left hand reaches up and back. There 
and then swoop it down. Let's do the opposite leg. Ooh, my knees little, need a little lotion on them. <laughs> Left foot comes to the inner right thigh, arms up. And then exhale, reach that left hand towards the outer right leg. Lift your chest. You don't want to stay arched over too much. Lift your chest to create that extension and then twist. Slowly release, left hand comes down, hips go up. Right hand reaches up and back. And then slowly lower it down. Both feet come in front of you and you can lie, lay all the way down onto your mat. I'm going to stay seated up because I just uh, washed my hair so it's a little damp. But you can come all the way down to your mat and find your nice one minute Shavasana. friends know that you of course can stay where you are for as long as you'd like when you're ready to continue on with your morning we'll find a breath in through the nose open mouth exhale release it out Lips together to your forehead as a reminder of positive thoughts to your lips as a reminder to speak kindly positive words and then to your heart as a reminder that you are loved special important and matter you have something that someone somewhere needs. One more breath in. And a nice sigh. Release it out. <sighs> and flutter your eyes open. God bless, friends. Congratulations for completing day 20. You are one day away, and I'm so very proud of you. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.